So Corey came across, someone met Corey somewhere, and he, he, she came across a new device. And I'm really excited about this device because I wasn't sure when she first showed it to me. And I'm going to show you here. I'm going to show it to you and what it looks like. And it's a toothbrush with some special design features. So what do you notice about it? And it's, it wasn't designed for people living with dementia at all. Um, so tell me what things you're thinking, just looking at it. Who has an idea? You, you could brush the surface, the, the chewing surface, and get the sides at the same time. Yeah, it's designed to remove plaque and to work on the gingivitis while it does the chewing surface with a motion like this and like that. And they actually, it's evidence-based um, only with kids, not with people who are living with dementia. So we'll make sure that you get the citation for this article, but they demonstrated that it cleans plaque as well as if you were to go in and clean it yourself but this way I have participation from the person they're actively doing some of the tasks with me and with this one motion back and forth I don't need to do inside outside stroking down like this instead it's this motion and you can use it and the term that it is it's called a colus curve toothbrush Colus curve, and it comes in a very a variety of of types. Uh, they have medium, soft, periodontal, baby, and junior. Because it was originally designed for um, people, the children, and and young adults that have developmental disabilities. But it turns out, I actually think this might be something that could really make a difference as far as being helpful to reduce the disease of gingivitis for many of our folks in the ruby and the amber and even the pearl state because this motion <laughs> there's not as much having to get out in the upper in this outer edge and in this outer edge and in this outer edge so suddenly what's happening is this motion allows me to get both sides of the teeth down at the gum line, the chewing surface, and then I've got four, and then the front, inside and outside, and I can do some back and forth, but, it, but I can also have the person doing that, not me doing it to the person. For me, for people who really like to be in charge of their own mouth care, um, they're going to be a much more effective mouth caregiver than any of the current devices that are out there. And there's also a big difference between that and the vibrating toothbrush or the one that moves around in your mouth. If you have never in your life used a move around in your mouth toothbrush and somebody gives you a move around in your mouth toothbrush, some people are very accepting of new things and some people are, the hell was that? Get it out. That's, you're not doing that. Get it out. And unfortunately, because they're not familiar with something moving in their mouth, their brain went, that doesn't feel safe. I don't like that. I'm not doing that. So that's, we wanted you to sort of take a look at Yes, I can get there and I can help my friend Eddie get some mouth care done. It's still inadequate. However, it's a little concerning that our hands-on caregiver may or may not be routinely getting in there at all. Um, and if I have a way that I can help Eddie and then we can actually be more effective, super cool.